Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video is gonna be like you can tell from the title another best and worst of video. This is gonna be the last one for this particular month also this year per se as well but if you want me to do more best and worst of videos for other brands um, and you want to share with me what brands they could possibly be, possibly be please leave a comment down below and let me know today's video like you can tell from the title is gonna be about chemist at play and i feel like i have a good enough experience with different chemist at play products across various different categories uh, so it would make sense that I do one for chemist at play and kind of share with you my thoughts and opinions. That being said, I want to let you know a lot of the products I'm going to kind of be a little bit meh about. I feel like I have very few products that I would put in the best category. And there are also some that I'm currently in the process of trying and testing out. I did place an order earlier, I believe in the month of, was it? November like end of November or maybe beginning of December I don't very well remember but I did buy some new products which I will share with you later on in a collective haul and um, those I am in the process of obviously testing out I will eventually do that so in today's video I will share with you my thoughts and opinions on the products I've already tried out and then later on I will of course do updated versions of these over time so Yes, in case you're interested in knowing uh, some of my thoughts and opinions on certain chemistry play products, then please keep on watching. Um, starting out with first, I feel like we should talk about their body category, like the bath and body category, because I have tried out a decent number of products from the bath and body uh, category. Uh, the body washes, no, I don't think I've tried out the body washes. I've tried out the bo body lotions. I've tried out pretty much all the different variants. The retinol one I currently have, but I haven't started using it. Uh, out of the other three, so they have a darker blue, they have a lighter blue, and then they have the yellow one, which is the brightening one. Out of those, I would personally say that my favorite is definitely the yellow one, the brightening one, just because the formulation and consistency of it is such that it's not super duper heavy or thick on the skin. It still blends in well, gets absorbed into the skin nicely, but the blue one, like both the blues, the light and the dark blue, um, I don't remember what they're called, to be completely honest, but those two, I feel like, can be a little bit more difficult massage into your skin if you have sort of like more normal skin if your skin is super duper dry then you might actually enjoy them more but if you have more normal skin then i feel like it might be a little too much for you and it might be a little bit difficult for you to get it absorbed into your skin so that is that and then um do they have other body products i think that is pretty much it uh then when it comes to the face care um so out of the face moisturizers that come in the pump bottle packaging i've tried all of them out and i've done a video about it but that is personally not my favorite um moisturizer formulation from them because all of those to me seem more like emulsions and to be completely honest the texture consistency of pretty much all of them is it's very similar to each other like it's not something that you actually need to have like four different moisturizers in your arsenal i feel like having just maybe one or two would have also been more than enough it's supposed to be like different um variations for different skin types and stuff but i feel like all skin types any skin type can use anything it's not that different from each other at least in my personal opinion so the face moisturizers in the pump were pretty meh in my personal opinion but the actual stand-up moisturizers from them that they have for the face are the night creams if you guys know this already i am absolutely in love with their night creams it's a holy grail product for me that i've repurchased time and time again i've gotten a lot of people also in my life into those because the formulation the consistency is so much better it gets absorbed into the skin really well and no matter what your skin type is i feel like you will like them because it's just a beautiful pillowy cushiony um comfortable moisturizing beautiful 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 product and um like i said again i've bought this multiple times i've repurchased it multiple times for myself as well as my mom my friends uh it's something i recommend to people all the time in my life so this is one that i would highly 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 recommend you check out if you haven't checked out already like if there's one product from chemist at play that you ask me to recommend to you i'm going to recommend the night creams to you because they're absolutely amazing and even though they are uh, marketed as a night cream i would say that if you have dry skin you can actually use this as a daytime moisturizer too i haven't personally done that because i prefer more of like a gel like lightweight moisturizer for the daytime this is more so of a cream moisturizer so it's perfect for the nighttime for me 
but if you have very dry skin um you could also use this as a day cream to be completely honest so um that is that in terms of the moisturizers in terms of the serums they have a couple of different serums and i'll tell you the ones that i've used i've used the one with tranexamic acid which i feel like is okayish i did not see great results with it but it was not it was not bad either so keeping that in mind i think it was a good serum then um the my favorite serum out of all the serums definitely has to be the lactic acid one this is also another one that i have recommended to a lot of people in my life I myself have used up two bottles of this serum, so it is definitely a great, great, great product as an introductory exfoliant to anyone who uh, wants to incorporate AHAs in your routine. If you haven't done that already, first of all, where have you been? And secondly, this is a great product to introduce in your skincare routine as an AHA if you are new to the world of AHAs and BHAs. So uh, that one is amazing. Uh, speaking about BHAs, let me quickly move on and talk about the salicylic acid product as well. That is another serum which I think is nice if you want to incorporate a BHA and if you specifically don't have breakup prone skin, you just want to maintain your skin really well. I would recommend the Chemist that Play two percent salicylic acid serum for that. It's not again a mind blowing like revolutionary product, but it's still a pretty good um, serum. And speaking about good products that are not revolutionary i think they are niacinamide that they have the 10% niacinamide as well kind of falls into that category where it's not revolutionary it's not life changing but it's still a good serum it's a great serum so that is another one that if you're looking to purchase a niacinamide serum i would recommend the chemist that play 10% niacinamide for that as well um they do have vitamin c serums but um in my personal opinion the ones that i have gotten actually went bad on me they went rancid so i'm definitely hesitant to purchase more um and i don't think i would recommend or purchase the vitamin c serums for myself forget like recommending it to other people or uh, they do have i believe a peptide serum again haven't tried any of that stuff so i cannot comment on any of that they have foaming face washers which again not really into at all haven't purchased those so cannot speak to that um they do have face toners which come in like spray bottles which i do have and i'm waiting to try them out and then eventually i will review them for you so um yeah that is pretty much it uh is there any any more products from chemist that that i cannot remember at the top of my head i think that's pretty much all the stuff that they have going on in their lineup and it leaves all the stuff that i have tried out so if you would like to know my thoughts and opinions on any other chemist that play products then definitely make sure that you leave a comment down below and let me know but uh, i guess that's it i feel like i've wrapped up this video pretty quickly but honestly that's all that i had to talk about so yeah do let me know if you found this video helpful if you would like to know my detailed thoughts on anything else i feel like i didn't go too too much in detail on every specific product because these are things i've spoken about like time and time again on my channel in so many other videos if you just go to my channel go to the search option and type chemist that play there it will basically show you every single video that i have in my channel where i've spoken about chemist that play products and if you would like to know my detailed detailed thoughts and opinions on anything else then I think that's the best way to go ahead and find it because um in this video obviously I can share with you like a summarized um review but if you want to know more details um either you can go do that or you can just leave a comment down below on this video and ask me specific questions if you have about any chemist that play product if there is something that you specifically want me to answer then just leave a comment down below ask me and as soon as I read your comment I will be the first one to respond to it so yeah you can do that as well uh, but that's going to be it thank you so 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 much for watching you guys and as you know vlogmas is going on this entire month of december i have posted a new video every single day so there's a ton of skincare makeup beauty perfume related content on my channel so you can go ahead and check it out and apart from that till the 31st of course there's going to be a new video every single day so um Yes, if you want to come back for more, uh, definitely make sure that you subscribe to my channel, hit on the notification bell button because that way you'll get to know every single time I post a new video. But that's going to be it for this video. Thank you so 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 much for watching you guys. Until next time. Bye. Bye bye.